Hello everybody, we've got a special surprise today. Hey y'all. Now that we've hit uh, 300 likes, we thought we should start letting you see what goes on in the kitchen here. This is my husband Craig, Hello. the How chef behind the Candied Rib Company. And, uh, How's it going everybody? We're featuring our beef brisket today. Beef and brisket. He's going to show you a little bit about it. Alright, come on in here, are you getting this? Alright. So this is a brisket. Y'all probably seen this uh, maybe in the store uh, in, in Kroger. They don't often have really more than what's called the flat of it. Um, but you go to a specialty meat market, you can get the whole loin. This one started out at 16 pounds, 16 and a half pounds. And so there's two parts of a brisket. Um, there's what you call the flat, which is the bottom part of the muscle group and it's kind of a leaner part. Uh, it's kind of like sirloin. And then you have what's called the point, which is this fantastic piece of goodness right up top here. And it's really got a lot of marbleized internal fat. It's a lot like ribeye. And so we're gonna show you how to slice it today. Uh, we love brisket. Um, brisket is a lot like, um, some people consider it like the prime rib of the barbecue world and even though we are anything but traditional you know I'm sorry but I'm gonna have me some brisket that's what's happening so uh, one of the first things we like to do uh, because we like to serve uh, some flat and some point in each serving uh, so what we want to do is want to kind of separate it out so we can make sure that we you know even it out for the boxes so First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to go across it. I've got my fat side up and I'm going to take it, just right it. Now look, get, get in close on this thing because this is, this is illegal in about 20 states. <laughs> you can see here, <sighs> see that? Look at those juices. That oh is my a, oh my god. That's a little bit ridiculous. Okay. Right? This is the painful part of doing this because I don't, I don't really want to keep cooking this. I kind of want to eat it right now. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is we're going to be slicing it uh, just like this. And you want to go, when you, when you slice a brisket, you typically go, you know, right at about pencil thick, okay? Um, now I do trim, I like to trim my briskets before I slice them, or before I cook them, excuse me, because uh, it lets a lot of you know, the seasoning gets on meat instead of fat. Um, but the seasoning. Yeah, the fat is so... You got it? Is that oh, good? yeah. Okay. The, the fat is so uh, cooked to the point that it's, it's actually really, really good. Um, you know, I, I like this terminology of calling it meat jello, um, which it really kind of is. Thanks. You're welcome. So we want to, you know... We want to make sure everybody gets a, a, a meat a jello. Is that your portion. term? Yeah. Is that okay? It's fine. Meat jello terminology. It's just just kind of made that on the fly. So I got some flat there. Um, and so now the point, now see the point, the meat fibers run a different direction. Now this is really the shot right here. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit, you know. That's Sorry, guys. Be illegal. <laughs> it is. It's. It's. I'm telling you, um, Chief Hambrick is going to be knocking at our door shortly. <laughs> okay. He's a fan. Yep. So what we want to do, because it, it kind of gets you know big, but you can see here, you know, I cut this in half so we can fit into our lunch boxes. So I cut this part in half now. See, take a look at this. See how these grains run like this? You don't want that, right? Uh, so we slice it like this. Mm -hmm. This is that, that point part, right? Uh, it's got all that fat that's in there. Like, watch this. Ready for this? You got a close up on yeah. this? Okay, here we go. Look at that. That juice that comes yeah. out of in, inside those fibers. That's what you want, man. Got it. Um, and we cook uh, all of our uh, meat. We cook it um, the day before or the day of that we're going to serve it. Now I say the day before because this thing actually went into the smoker 
uh, last night at about, what, 9 o'clock, I think? Yeah. Yeah, 9 o'clock. Sounds about right. Um, so, uh, and that's because, you know, if that's, that's the way it's best. I mean, there's a lot of places that they kind of, they'll, they'll pre-cook their meat and then they'll serve it or reheat it, you know, the next day. Uh, we don't think that that's the best quality, so we want to make sure that what we what we're serving for that day has has just been cooked. Now we're also going to put in with a side of our maple bacon sweet potato mash. Did I say that right? Of course you did. Maple bacon sweet potato mash. It's your recipe, honey. Look, I just make stuff that tastes good. Um. So, and pretty much if, if you like to cook or play in the kitchen, I've pretty much just told you the recipe by what's in it, right? Nah, the beauty of that side. Huh? That's not the same thing. They got to try it. You can't make this. Well, I mean, uh, you gotta, you know, there's a couple other things in there, right? But I mean, it's, my point is, is I don't put a lot of schmeckus in there. There's just, you know, I made that word up too. Schmeckus. Yep. Um, the, you know, it's, it's simple. It's basic. Um, stuff uh, and, and that's part of why it's so tasty so uh, here we go the uh, it's not finished yet. beef brisket it's not finished yet you're right about that um, because we and this isn't something that barbecue places do but I'm doing it uh, you know, I, don't, I don't really focus on what other places do I know what they do but well we're anything but traditional anything but traditional so what I'm going to do is I've got this nice homemade jus that I like to put on there, just like that. And it's it's seasoned, but it's you know designed it so that it you know it accentuates the flavor. It doesn't change the flavor, but it just makes sure that the beef stays moist. Um, you know, part of what happens you saw as I slice it, all that juice dribbles out. Mm -hmm. Well, the juice dribbles out, which means. You know, it's not in the meat anymore. So the jus kind of helps to preserve it until we get it to you. Uh, until and, I drive it around and deliver it to everyone. Right, right, exactly. And to tell you the truth, uh, and, and we don't do reheated meat. That's not our thing. But I have reheated this when I was testing this product. And, man, it, it reheats really, really good. <laughs> really, really but good. But that's not what we're going to sell. But that's not what we sell. Right. Okay? It's against our code of ethics. Right. So, um... There you go, smoked beef brisket. We'll be seeing you all shortly. Uh, I had to talk about something else. Oh, right. Specials next week? Well, for the rest of this week. Okay. Right? So, for the rest of this week, we're going to be doing... Um, well, today's doing Tuesday, so Wednesday we got... Wednesday salad day. Yeah. Uh, Avocado road. Love it. I love them all, of course. Simpleton. We're doing simpleton also. That's okay. my favorite, frankly, is the simpleton. Yeah. And... Um, and then on Thursday is going to be Crispy Skin Chicken Day. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're doing that with the roasted fingerling potatoes. And on Friday is... Rib Day. Friday Rib Day. We, we've kind of made that a thing, Friday Rib Day. Um, and you'll be able to get all three of our finishings of the ribs, either candied, sloppy, or dry rub. Mm -hmm. The candied is awesome. It's fantastic. It's original. But man, those dry rubs, man. Yeah, we'll do another video explaining that one. Right. We'll get back to it. Uh, so that's happening. And then next week, uh, stay tuned, uh, cause we're going to be doing some, uh, we're going to be rolling out a couple of new things. I'm really, really excited for next week. Um, going to be rolling out a couple of sandwiches. We're going to be rolling out our take of, uh, a street taco. Who doesn't like tacos? Mm. And also a new side item that, well, let's just say that it's, it's, it has to do with beets. Who does that? We do it. That's right. <laughs> because we like it. We love it. So, uh, that's what we're doing. Thank you all very much. And uh, I guess Lisa will be seeing you shortly. Soon. Bye. Right? See you.